Good morning from the Grizzly Gulch Trail right outside of Lake City here in Southern Colorado. Today we're going to be hiking Handy's Peak. For a full trail guide of Handy's Peak, you can check the link in the description below. The trail to Handy's Peak via the east slopes today, uh, which we'll be doing since we're at Grizzly Gulch. It's about eight miles round trip with about 3,600 feet of elevation gain. Handy's Peak is just over 14,000 feet, 14,046 I believe. And I was all excited to use the drone today, and then I realized this. This says here is that although Handy's Peak is not in an official wilderness area, it's in a study area. So no motorized vehicles today, which is a bummer, but of course have to obey the regulations. The other way to hike Handy's Peak is up through the American Basin, which is just up the road here, and uh, a little bit shorter of a hike. But since I've already done that way, I wanted to try this one today for the uh, trail guide. This trailhead is accessible by most two by two cars, so you don't need four wheel drive. As long as you have decent experience on somewhat rough roads, it can get a little rough, depending on the time of year, especially. As far as camping goes, this is one of my favorite places to camp, but it can get extremely busy, especially on weekends. There's a lot of ATVing in the area, and of course, with red cloud and sunshine just behind me here, uh, and handies and some other very popular hikes, it's a hiker's haven as well. So try to get here early on weekends if you want the best spots, but like I said, there's a ton of them. We spent the night at this beautiful campsite uh, just up the road here and uh, gonna be doing handies today and then red cloud and sunshine tomorrow doesn't take long to get your first view of handies peak which is right in front of us I'll show you a better look at the route to get up there once we get a bit closer Just about 11,700 feet now, and uh, about 1.75 miles into the hike of Handy's Peak. And you can see Handy's Peak behind me here. So from here, your route is pretty straightforward, and you're gonna have Handy's Peak in view the entire time. So it'd be really hard to get lost at this point. Still have about two miles to go, and uh, quite a bit of elevation gain, about uh, 2,300 feet or so. So definitely steep, but the views are amazing. Although I still have a couple miles to go, I can without a doubt say this is a better approach for Handy's Peak than the other side via the American Basin. Just a lot more pretty up here. The American Basin is certain, certainly worth a trip in its own right, but in terms of hiking Handy's, for me, this side's much better. Closer look at where you're gonna be heading, so just want to gain the upper basin and then work your way up the slope there. Up in the upper basin now, and essentially the trail is going to work its way up there to that hump and then over to the summit of Handy's Peak. I just can't get over how pretty it is up here. Just really, really beautiful. Right around 12.5, 12, 12.6, 12, and uh, you're gonna see these discolored rocks, and you're gonna basically kind of take this ramp and join the ridge right there. As you can see, there is some lingering snow up on that ramp, 
So I do have my ax and uh, micro spikes just in case for a full gear list of this hike up Handy's Peak. You can check all the links in the description below, but for the most part in the summer, this will be a 14er kit and hiking boots kind of day, maybe hiking poles optional. Uh, you can also check out my video on what to pack for a 14er, which I'll also link in the description below. Um, but overall, this is not a technical hike, so you really shouldn't need that much gear unless you're coming in the early spring or winter. in the final basin here and uh, basically gonna work up to like where the moon is or this rock right here. So this snow can linger into the summer. So again, spikes and max, not a terrible idea, but once you get up there, you're gonna ride the ridge. This is the steepest face right here. And then you're at the summit of Handy's Peak. All right, up the uh, slope here. So it came down from there, there, and then Grizzly Gulch that way. From here, it's pretty obvious where to go. You're gonna take the ridge up, and that's Summit of Handy's Peak. As I mentioned before, this section right here will be your steepest of the day. Jesus, this is steep, man. Good God. The views are just insane down here. I remember this the last time I hiked Tandy's. You just get to see all the San Juans, which are my favorite rain. Give you an idea of trail conditions. It's kind of like, uh, you know, loose rockish dirt kind of that's looking down. It does switch back quite frequently. So your bursts of elevation are short when they happen, but they are steep. All right, once you've topped out your ridge, you're just gonna have a short walk. Summit of Handies is right there. So beautiful up here, man. Holy hell. All right, Summit of Handies Peak. 14, 46, I believe, 48, under 50, I don't know. <laughs> Holy hell, what a beautiful hike. What a beautiful hike. Man, the views up here just never, 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 never get old. Wow, the Southern Colorado mountains are just spectacular. So from uh, cars, or sorry, trailhead to here, just about four miles, and everything I said at the beginning, just about to book. It was a class two hike, but really very minor class two hiking. I would say the two hardest parts would be the snow field I ascended, which might not be an issue for you. And then the uh, last bit of the ridge there is very steep, uh, but overall a pretty moderate hike. I would say definitely dog friendly if that snow is gone. If the snow is here, I'd just be hesitant to do it because it is pretty steep. I didn't bring Juno on this one. She's down back at camp. Um, but she has been up here before. If you do come up the other way through the American Basin, you'll basically be coming down through here and starting kind of right over that hump there. Overall, I really like the hike up Handy's Peak. I, I have nothing to complain about when it comes to Southern Colorado mountains, especially the San Juan. So 
uh, just a lovely day up here. There's not a cloud in, I mean, literally I could count the number of clouds in every direction. It's just nuts. So beautiful weather. In terms of gear for this hike, I would recommend definitely micro spikes and an ax if there's snow on that slope. Um, it's uh, pretty steep. So um, if there is snow there, definitely have that. Otherwise you can check the uh, links in the description below for what I typically use on my hikes. Summit views, man. Holy crap. I love Southern Colorado. Just unbelievable. There's so many mountains out here. It's just pointless to even start pointing them out. But you can see almost everything up here. Just insane. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. So for a full trail guide of Handy's Peak, via the east slopes. You can go ahead and check the link in the description below. If you're new to my channel, I do 14er hikes all across Colorado in addition to other hiking trail guides, hike reviews, gear reviews. So hit that subscribe button. If you want to watch more 14er videos, go ahead and check out the 14er playlist I have in the description below as well. Thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe not to miss any future hike content and we'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, another little beautiful colorful lake basin here.